Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So we got some upgrades on the Red Cat uh, Scout here. Um, one of which isn't really an upgrade, but an addition to the truck. Uh, this truck comes with a spare tire that you can mount uh, in the back. And so it's now mounted. Uh, a little assistance from my wife for doing some measuring for me and drilled the hole and reamed her out. I've got a six bladed reamer that I actually use on guitars and uh, it turned out to be the perfect reamer. I just stuck it into my half inch drill and went Row! right down and reamed that hole out like that fast. But I, you have to drill a pilot hole first for it, of course. Um, got an Intigy uh, rack that actually comes with a 24 LED light bar. Now I'm currently running the light bar off of the receiver power uh, so it's not full out brightness is what it could be but it's still fairly bright. Okay, It's not going to light up the backyard um, but it's definitely going to give some good scale looks and I really don't feel like wiring up you know to go to 7.4 volts with this um, just to get it super super bright. Um, I don't think it's necessary for this truck and besides there's a lot of wiring in this thing with the uh, lighting kit. Um, I have the tr my trick RC lighting kit installed in this truck so I've got uh, two LEDs in each headlight. I've got LEDs here. I've got <laughs> LEDs in the rear bumper. I got three LEDs on each side here and a boatload of wiring in there even though it's nice and tidy. There's still a lot of wiring but I plugged this in uh, to the receiver because I still had a spare port so we're all good to go there. Um, it works. You know, it, it does the job, it works great, you know. Um, and I really like this, the scale looks of this now, so now I can put stuff on here. I actually have a canoe kicking around here someplace. Um, here it is, actually, and I got a bike. So if I want to, I can, you know, hook on the canoe up here. I got my motorcycle I could put up here, even though a bicycle would probably look better. Um, but, you know, I got a few things that I could, you know, jam up here for videos for you guys, you know. Uh, this is kind of like I could even strap it right up on top like this or off to the side put other junk in here whatever I want to do kind of thing right so uh, I really like it now the um, this this complete um, luggage carrier with the LED light all came all pre-assembled um, it only cost like $39 US from Intigy so that was actually a really good price you know, and they give you little spacers to keep it up off the top, which is nice too. So you've got space. So if you're gonna hook bungees and stuff, you've got extra space to put your bungees up there tighter. Um, another thing, kind of cool. You guys remember I showed you, you fit a deadbolt inside. Well, now I got all this wiring. It can't go inside, but whoops, it can uh, definitely go on top, and I can carry my deadbolt on the top of this rig with me and uh, play with that too while I'm out our scene. You know, kind of like you can just drive it right off the thing and, and then goose it and away I go. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of really cool. I, I really like the, the luggage carrier. It's nice. Gives a nice look to the truck. Really liking it. Um, love the lighting kit from My Trick. Um, if you have not been to My Trick RC, they carry lighting tricks for other vehicles too. Um, but this one was specific for the Red Cat Gen, uh, Gen 8. Um, and uh, it does have hazard lights. We talked to them and um, there's something about um, motor signal speed that has to be a consistent. Otherwise the hazards will come back on if you're driving really slow. And it's kind of like, hey, you know, so we're going to figure that out when we get solid answers on that. Fine, but for now we've actually shut down the hazard feature on both of our trucks. Because um, it's kind of annoying having those lights flash when you really don't want them to, especially at night. Um, but um, we will definitely get that figured out and figure out what it's going to take to get that solved and let you guys know because a lot of you will end up running into a similar problem I'm sure. Um, but yeah, um, everything went smooth with the install of the rack, went smooth with the tire installs. Uh, originally I wanted to put the tire up here and I wanted a carrier that mounted the tire but then I had like squat for room for mounting stuff up here with the tire. So I got to thinking, you know, this is the better way to go. The tire does actually look better on the back of the machine, um, you know, because it is an SUV, right? 
Um, that's generally where you find them. Um, but um, I think it looks far better this way. You know, I really am liking this look. You know, and uh, I'm sure we are still nowhere near done with modifying these things. As soon as they have metal bumpers, we're putting them on. And of course, at that point, we're also going to mount winches on these things. Um, I seen one guy, he figured out how to mount a winch on the plastic bumper, but it's kind of like, you're going to need a heavier duty winch, you know, really for this truck. A 3kg winch ain't going to cut it. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But um, when they do have some metal bumpers with winch mountability, um, before I order a winch, I'm going to take dimensions because I might actually consider the heavy duty winch from RC4W Drive that I had bought from my TRX or even the Xeon winch would be actually very suitable. The Xeon would be great because it's a dual motor winch. It's going to be more than strong enough for this thing. So um, that would be another option that's a little bit cheaper. And going of course with the RC4W Drive remote kit as well, um, which is something I'm going to be doing a video about as well today to let you guys um, in on some information that you're going to... Or no, I think I did that video. Did I do the video? I'm not sure. I have to check my channel. I may have already done that video for you guys already to tell you about the Chinese winch controllers and my experience with the RC4W Drive um, heavy duty winch. If not, then you'll see it on my channel as a new video. So, but um, anyways, definitely loving the right cat. Oh, yes, we also got, um, I ordered from Intigi um, the uh, Widener kits in 8mm and they work. Okay. Um, you have enough room to still get your nylon nylock nuts back on you won't be able to screw your end caps back in so that's going to be a drawback but at least your tie rods are not going to be rubbing against your rubber tires anymore okay so that's a big huge plus there okay um, seven millimeter ones didn't work um, I had another set too they didn't fit of course because they're TRX specific so I've got extra sets of those that I'm going to actually have to end up selling now. Um, but um, I got the 8 mil kits and we got them on both our rigs and now we got enough clearance away from the rim, we got enough clearance away from the tires, everything's where it should be. Right Cat, if you're listening to my video, ditch those 5 millimeter junky hubs. That's what's causing a lot of the chattering in turns. It's going cha 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 cha, okay? It's not so much the CVs, it's, it's the tie rods are getting rubbed against the tires. And I actually, you know, ended up with a little bit of um, a spot in, in my tires from that. But now my tie rods are nowhere near um, the rubber tires. So that's actually a big bonus there. So 8mm ones from Entigy, they do fit the HSP because they're made for it. Um, and you get new uh, slip pins. Now, there are little locking screws on these things um, where you put a screw into the hex hub. They really don't do much. I don't know why they even bother because there's not, no way you can get enough tension on that screw to squish it and lock it in place. But do put the screw in anyways because it does give you a little bit of a squish, which you're going to need anyhow, um, just to make it a little bit better. Um, and uh, you'll be fine there. So that's, that's all right. But definitely worth the money to get those from Entigy. They're the only ones that carry them in the 8 mil for the HSP that actually work. Okay, And they will work on the Scout 2 hassle-free, obviously, because I, we have them installed on ours. So, But um, anyways, there you go, guys. So um, I was thinking maybe I should light this up for you guys, but there's really no point. Um, you know, you've seen the MyTrick RC kit already. This thing, I'm going to tell you right now, is not the brightest. It's bright, but it's not the brightest. You will see this lit up on a night video, though, so then you can see it then. I just wanted to talk about it today, let you know what's going on, blah, blah, blah. A couple little upgrades, and try and keep this video as short as possible. So, anyways, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, uh, especially on these trucks. I think maybe um, sometime this weekend, if we get a chance... Um, we're going to do a little night drive with both trucks at the same time and we'll figure out how we're going to split the video footage or whatever or maybe we'll just do separate videos on our own who knows and then you'll see even this light bar is lit up too and you know you'll see how it differs too in brightness against the headlights that sort of thing um, and I'm going to go through any scale accessories I 
have kicking around see what I can throw on the luggage rack but you know awesome stuff eh? alright catch you later guys ciao